Hi everyone. Um, welcome again to another <clears throat> devotional moment um, in the book of James. Uh, surprisingly, we finished the first chapter um, in the last part, uh, so we'll be beginning um, the second chapter today, James 2. Um, so we're going to jo go right in and uh, see what uh, James 2 has to offer us as uh, we continue in to some thoughts and um, into some things that uh, Scripture is gonna gonna show to us. But before we do that, like I always do, um, I want to pray and ask for the Spirit uh, to come down and be with us. Uh, Jesus, thank you for today uh, and this opportunity to read, to dive in, to be in your Scripture. And we just ask right now that the Spirit would come and would fill us and would help us understand um, your Word and what you have to show us. <clears throat> We just ask that uh, you would lead, you would guide, and you, you would direct. Um, we also ask um, for an outpouring of your, your cleansing love over us, um, that we may uh, die to you today, uh, that we may have uh, an old heart removed, that you may give us a new one, and, and that we can uh, be refreshed and, and cleansed in you uh, th through your grace and your love. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. So I look briefly at the first couple of verses in this. Um, and it it's a real interesting topic. <clears throat> but we will not uh, be scared. We will not uh, stray away. We're going to dive right in. We're going to go to it. Um, and what it is, it says, warning against prejudice. So we're in James 2, starting in verse 1. It says, my dear brothers and sisters, how can you claim to have faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ if you have favor, if you favor some people over others? Oh, wow. Just think about that for a little bit. That if you claim have faith in Jesus, to be in a relationship with Jesus, to be with Jesus, that if that's who you claim to be with, <clears throat> that you can't have prejudice and you can't have favor um, over others. And honestly, I think about that. And it's true. It's true because if we, we can look at Jesus' life so easily, we can look and we can see <clears throat> what he did, what he does, who he is. We can see easily that he always loved, treated everyone the same, everyone. Sinner, saint, whoever it was, treated them all the same. And so we as Christians, we as Christians are frankly called to do the same. Um, and I know uh, that's hard for, for some people to believe, or some people to accept, uh, or to practice. Um, because I know, I know at times, myself, I've caught myself uh, doing this exact thing it's telling me not to do. Uh, prejudice, prejudice showing, showing favor over others. Um, but we as Christians, we are, we're called that being a follower of Jesus, being a Christian, we can't do that. But in this, this isn't something new. Well, it is It is new, but that's not something crazy or outrageous because we've seen 
we've seen examples, I've talked about this before, of Jesus himself calling us to a higher standard. And and I firmly believe this is another thing of another example of that. That Jesus is saying well James is saying but that Jesus is, is calling James to say that my people the people who, who represent me, who are about me uh, this is something they can't do. Yeah, they're going to make mistakes. Yeah, they're going to mess some things up. But this is something that when they love me, that when they reflect the love that I've given them, um, that this is something they will not do. <laughs> because I've shown such crazy, amazing love for them. That even though there might be some others who, who might deserve the love more or, or might deserve the love less, that it doesn't matter and that I've shown it to everyone. And that's what Jesus has done. That's what Jesus has done. Now, I've already gone several minutes on just this first verse and I really want uh, to get into the next section um, but I think I'm going to save it for next time um, go ahead peek at the next section but that gets really deep um, and really close to home I think in a lot of situations um, especially of people in the church um I think that's something uh, that is close to us, unfortunately. But we will talk about it. Um, and today I just want to leave you with with a hope that that we as believers and followers of Jesus um, are still broken, broken people. So broken. But yet we're still we're called to, to show amazing, crazy love to other broken people. Because that's what Jesus did. Is that he saw a bunch of broken people that needed love needed it were desperate for it and he gave it to them if even if they deserved it or if they didn't he gave it to them anyway so that's what i want to leave with you today pray with me jesus oh your love <clears throat> your love is insane because um it's at times when when we just straight up do not deserve it but you give it anyway and you give it freely and you give it always so Jesus, I thank you for that love. And I just want an extra outpouring and an extra dose of it today because I need it. And pour out and give it to anyone out there listening um, who needs it right now. And let them know that you are loved by them. Whether they've screwed up, whether they've made a mistake, doesn't matter. You love them. And that's the same for us, is that we are called to love. And that we don't get to pick and we don't get to choose, but we're called to love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love, for your grace, for your mercy. And we, and we ask for those things. We ask for those things from you. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you today again for for tuning in thank you so much to everyone who, who watches these this has really really been fun and cool uh, please continue to share um, show them to your friends family whatever uh, thank you so much for 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 watching and and going on this journey with me uh, we'll be back and uh, start continue on in James too thank you